I've always considered myself a progressive. I come from a working class family. My mom and dad worked hard, played by the rules, earned a modest but quality life for their sons, giving my brother and I opportunity beyond what they themselves had. Because of that upbringing and those values, I have always wanted to fight for the little guy. The guy who works hard in a low wage job and just wants to secure a financially stable future for his family. The kid in poverty who wants to go to college, study hard, and make a difference in the world. The old lady on a fixed income who might have to make a choice between medication and rent. I want to give these people the best chance for success possible, and so politically, I've leaned left. But each day it seems like my political leanings get pushed back to center, not necessarily because of the persuasive pull of the right, but because of the repellent shove of the left. More and more, voices of the left are insisting on the authoritarian enforcement of dogmatic worldviews. The latest example is an anti-Donald Trump video from a group calling itself Tuck Frump. Oh, I see. They transposed the letters. That is Clooper Sever. <laughs> In this video, Tuck Frump gives each group that Donald Trump has offended a rebuttal, but as we'll see, their purposes probably would have been better served with three minutes of fingernails on a chalkboard. Mommy says that if you don't have anything nice to say, then you shouldn't say anything at all. So Donald Trump needs to shut the fuck up. Well, that's not very nice. I thought you just said that if you can't say anything nice, you shouldn't say anything at all. But hey, you're a cute little girl, so you get a pass. Yo, listen up! Trump, we're sick of hearing your offensive words that are racist, sexist, homophobic, and bullying bullshit! Okay, you guys aren't cute, so your standard's gonna be a little bit higher. So sit your ass down! Have me call you out on it! Yeah, he's not here, he's not listening, so this whole threatening tough guy act is unnecessary. Also, why was that said so weirdly? Well, we call you out on it! Why'd you emphasize the word it like that? I don't get it! You call breastfeeding moms disgusting? Which is ignorant and rude as shit! It's a natural and loving after the mother, motherfucker. Okay, but he didn't say breastfeeding moms are disgusting. The allegation is during a deposition, a lawyer wanted to breast pump, not breastfeed, and Donald Trump called the act of that individual disgusting. Now, is that insensitive, inappropriate, unprofessional? Hell, even unpresidential? Sure, maybe. But to say Donald Trump considers all women who breastfeed disgusting, well, that's about as accurate as saying Tuck Frump has a thorough and careful research department. Don't like it? Suck my tits. Remember how this video was framed with the concept that if you can't say anything nice, you shouldn't say anything at all? Carry on. And what kind of fucker attacks refugee families that are homeless and downtrodden? You already said what kind of fucker. A motherfucker, remember? Motherfucker. Idiotically equating grandmas and orphans with fucking Osama bin Laden? As the great Wikipedia might say, citation needed. I'm starting to see why there aren't any source materials included in the description of this video. All I can find is cases where he said we need to be careful about our Syrian refugee policy so as not to let any dangerous people inside of our borders. You want to ban Muslims from coming here and support a fascist religious database of Americans to keep track? Are you inspired by another racist? Ah, uh, yes, here it is right from Mein Kampf. We have a problem with Jewish terrorism and should take a serious look at our Jewish immigration policy. Or was there some big Trump speech I missed where he detailed the final solution to the Muslim question? Are you fucking smoking crack? What? No, Trump's rich. You know he's got powder. You said you hated days like me getting the equal right to marry my husband, who's the love of my life, hypocritically calling yourself a marriage traditionalist while you're on your fucking third wife. Ooh, man, work is scary for Justin Guarini, I see. He was so good with Kelly Clarkson, too. In the other accusations made here, even though the quotes are grossly exaggerated, I can see where the Tuck Frump people are coming from. But in this case, I don't even know what they're talking about. Hates gay people. Donald Trump has said he disagrees with the Supreme Court decision that established marriage equality because he sees that as a state issue and not a constitutional guarantee. I know plenty of people of that persuasion who don't hate gay people. I see a lot more hate in this video than I do in them, to be honest, but continue. In front of crowds, you've made people's disabilities something you ridicule and mock? If we're making jokes about disabilities, do you brag about your money to make up for the small size of your cock? How fucking insensitive to my struggle. Aw, a female reporter asks you a tough question you can't answer, and poor baby Donald gets mad. Oh, when your butt hurts, the best you can do is some sexist insult about her bleeding and being on the pad. 
The entire basis for your video is butthurt. You are a multicultural assembly of butthurt. The single common element for everyone in your organization is butthurt. I have no idea how all of you found each other, but it's perfectly reasonable to assume a Craigslist ad for butthurt talent wanted made it happen. You've insulted women as fat pigs, bimbos, and referred to us as bitches. He called one woman a fat pig. Oh, no. And it wasn't because she's a woman, it's because of a personal feud they have. Regardless, this is the person you chose to demonstrate that women are not fat pigs? It's like choosing Jihadi John to do a PSA about how not all Muslims are terrorists. Hey, respect our culture. Hashtag not all Muslims. Mm, I hate taking the low hanging fruit. Just kidding, it's fucking delicious. She really puts the frump in tuck frump. What's fucking worse, calling black people? It shows you're both racist and batshit KKK crazy. It shows you're both racist and batshit KKK crazy. Who the hell wrote this script? If you're batshit KKK crazy, are you not by definition also racist? Can someone be batshit KKK crazy but not racist? So Bill, what's on the agenda for tomorrow? Well, we're starting early in the morning with some cross burning. All right, my favorite. And then we've got a big lynching luncheon after that. Okay, sounds good. And then later in the afternoon, there's a Donald Trump rally downtown. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We are not racist. Okay? Okay. Okay. Donald Trump's words that are offensive as shit. Share this video. You're fed up with it. He did it again. I'm fed up with the way you people weirdly emphasize the word it. What the fuck is this? Prior to watching this video, the probability of me voting for Donald Trump was about 1%. But after watching it... Still not likely, but trending in his favor. And I'm not the only one. The comments section in that video is filled with people expressing the same sentiment. This is what happens when you live in an echo chamber of unquestionable groupthink. You become so blind to opposing viewpoints, so insulated in your own perspective, that you're actually more effective in persuading people against your cause. What's amazing to me about this video is not just how bad it is, but how many people must have been involved. It's potentially dozens of people doing directing, writing, writing, acting, filming, production, all of whom watched this piece of crap before its release and thought, yeah, this is great material, or just didn't speak up. Not only that, but how hard is it to make fun of Donald Trump successfully? Jokes about him write themselves. Every late night comic has staple Trump material and people eat it up. You have to be exceptionally terrible at comedy and criticism to fail in a Trump jab. And yet, despite taking on such an easy target, this video has an amazingly bad Bad ratio of almost a hundred dislikes for every like. That is far worse than YouTube dislike record holders like Justin Bieber's Baby and Rebecca Black's Friday. So I don't know, I'm not a fan of Trump because I'm not a fan of his ideas. But at least he lets me criticize those ideas and make fun of those ideas. And that's where the left is losing me. They have a whole series of ideas that are off the critical table because any examination of them makes you racist, sexist, ableist, homophobic, transphobic, hell, even fat phobic is a thing now. No idea, good or bad, should be immune to criticism. We find the good ideas by comparing them to the bad ideas. And good ideas lead us to the truth. The truth doesn't care if it's offensive. The truth doesn't care if it makes you uncomfortable. The truth doesn't come with a trigger warning. So I think ultimately it's not me breaking up with the left. It's the left breaking up with the truth. And I love you, babe, but... I can't stick with you in that ultimatum. Thanks as always for listening and for supporting this channel. Always appreciate that thoughtful discussion down below and especially over on Twitter. That is at skag underscore three. You're always welcome to come hang out and chat in my live stream. That is linked down in the description. Looking forward to it. Okay, bye.